The Freedom From Religion Foundation is holding open the possibility of legal action against the Hardin Jefferson School District. The foundation took aim at Coons ISD for religious banners at sporting events. Now the group is questioning what it calls teacher involvement in religious organizations at Hardin Jefferson. Fox 4's Haley Bull investigates what the foundation is demanding and how the superintendent and two parents are reacting. It's a complaint that began with posts one parent saw on Facebook. There's a line there and it's been crossed and people don't even know where the line is anymore. The parent doesn't want us to identify her. She lives in the Hardin Jefferson School District and became concerned about what she calls the religious atmosphere at the campuses. What I was disturbed by was not the students. Anything that the students were doing, I was disturbed by the heavy, heavy influence of the staff and administration. Post after post on China Elementary's Facebook page promoted the Hawks for Christ group, a religious group that meets at the school before classes. Some posts showed t-shirt sales, another listed dates, one with a district staff member speaking to the group. It prompted the parent to call the Freedom From Religion Foundation. It sent this letter to the district. The entire constitution is set up to protect the underrepresented minority from the tyranny of the, in this case, religious majority. The foundation pointed to the use of social media to promote Hawks for Christ on China Elementary's Facebook page. The foundation argues that violates the establishment clause of the Constitution, preventing government from establishing religion. We're asking that the Hawks for Christ group be disbanded given the intimate involvement of teachers at the school with running the club. Down the road at the high school, the foundation is raising questions about this flyer. It promotes the Fields of Faith event, sponsored in part by the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. It lists at least one district employee and a district email address. As for the FCA group, uh, we're asking that, again, the district make sure that this is a student-run club, that students are... Uh, organizing events for the club and leading its meetings, and that's clearly not happening now. The foundation says that violates the Equal Access Act, which prevents school employees from organizing or leading such groups. Now, the superintendent says the district is not disbanding the religious groups that meet at schools like China Elementary, but is making appropriate changes to be in compliance with the federal law. Our students have a right to gather and to assemble with each other uh, in that manner. Uh, and the district isn't going to do anything to impede upon that right uh, in any way whatsoever. However, uh, we are going to take the, uh, the issues that were addressed in that letter seriously, and we're going to, to look into those things, and we're going to evaluate our policies and our practices on each of our campuses to ensure that we're in compliance with the law. Holmes says the district has removed the post from the Facebook page and the district email addresses from the flyers. He maintains both groups are student-led, with staff serving only as monitors. That's not enough for another parent. She pulled her child out of school about a year ago, based in part how she says the district handled matters related to religion. It's not fair to send them to a school where it's going to be around them constantly and they're not going to have an option to figure it out for themselves. That's, that's not right, not, not at that age. Arguments echoing from the Hardin Jefferson ISD, leading to debate about the role of religion and how one school district is handling it. In Jefferson County, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News. The foundation says it will examine legal options if the district does not disband the Hawks for Christ group. One of the parents we spoke with says it's not about disbanding the group, but letting students have the freedom to make their own choice.